Welcome to my channel Fee Concepts CHM. This is the fourth part of the field effect transistor series in which we are going to see the applications of field effect transistor. First is the we are using JFET as a common source amplifier. Second is we will be using it as an analog switch. JFET common source amplifier. This is the circuit diagram of a common source amplifier. Input voltage is coupled directly to the gate by the coupling capacitor. So this is the input voltage V in. It is coupled to the gate by this coupling capacitor. Source is bypassed to ground by the bypass capacitor. This is the bypass capacitor. Hence, all the AC input voltage appears between the gate and the source producing AC drain current. Since this AC current flows through drain resistor, it is amplified and inverted at the output. The output signal is then coupled to the load resistor RL, which is not shown in the diagram. AC equivalent circuits are shown. The gate resistance RG is in parallel with the gate source resistance RGS. So that is this is the input circuit and this, this can be said as the output circuit. So RG is parallel to RGS. This is the input. As the AC input appears across RGS, the current source has a value GM into V in. GM is the transconductance. This AC drain current flows through the drain resistance, which is parallel to RD and RL. The AC drain resistance is uh, small RD, which is equal to RD parallel to RL where the output current Gm into V in flows through Rd, which produces an output voltage of V out is equal to Gm into V in, that is a current, into the resistance Rd. Divide this equation throughout by V in, we get the gain that is V out upon V in, which is equal to Gm into Rd. So this is transconductance times the AC drain resistance. Now we'll see the next application of JFET. We are using JFET as an analog switch. First we'll see about the series switch. This is a circuit diagram. When VGS is 0, 0 volt, the switch is closed. That is, the FET is on. And we can say that the output voltage is approximately equal to V in. When VGS is equal to VGS off, the switch is open. We can be here in this circuit. The FET is replaced in the form of a switch. So when VGS is equal to VGS off, the switch is open. The FET is off. So we will not we cannot will not be able to transfer this input to the output. So V out is 0. Next we will see uh, the shunt switch. This is a circuit diagram.
when vgs is 0 volts the apt is normally on so the switch is closed we can understand from this circuit where the apt is replaced or shown and in the form of a switch so the switch is now closed as vgs is 0 volt and v out is much smaller than v in due to the potential divider we can say it is almost zero now when vgs is vgs off the switch is open you can see the switch is open that is the apt is off and you will find that this input is transferred to the output so v out is equal to v in Thank you for watching this video.